Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we will be learning how to remove echo from the audio using Audacity. So let's get started. So the first thing you need is a software called Audacity. I'll provide the link for the download in the description. You can directly download. It's an open source software and it's free for everyone. You can download it for Windows, Apple, MacBook, and all the other softwares. It's free, so download it from the link below. So the next thing you can record your audio or you can use open open the file say remember to have a copy of the file so that you should not use your original copy to do your editing so the first thing you need to remove the echoes i'll just play the audio file hello everyone my name is Susram. today we are going to talk about things you can see there is a lot of echo and also a lot of noise in the background so to remove this so the first thing you need to do is use control and use your mouse and scroll it forward so that you can zoom it go to the front remember to don't speak in your mic for like five to eight seconds so that you can hear the surrounding noise so this is the surrounding noise this is that background noise which is always occurring so we will first use this background noise to generate a profile of the noise so select select the background noise then go to effects in effects search for noise reduction then you should see your noise reduction dp should be 12 sensitivity should be 6 default settings are always doing the great job so get noise profile so after getting noise profile control all after hitting control all again go to effects then repeat noise reduction So now we will listen to the audio. So you can see there is still some background noise. We can do that same step again one more time. So now it's done. So you can see my background noise is literally nil. So we'll play the one more audio one more time. So now you could hear there is very low background noise. So this should be an okay for you if you are adding a background music. Hello everyone, my name is Susram. Today we are going to talk about things you should know before joining a BTEC career or any software career in your life. So let's get started. So now you can see there is a small echo in the audio. We'll remove the echo now. So to remove the echo, again select all. So now we will remove the echo effect. So in, to remove the echo effect, we need to first balance our audio. So for that we will hit control all, go to effects and at the top you will see something called amplify. Hit ampli so now we are in amplification, remember to use 1.7 or 1.6. 6, 7 is also fine because these values are standard ones so your voice will not go at too very high level. you can use the preview option to see how your voice is so now click ok so what it actually does is it will change the frequency of your audio to a particular limit so it should not cross a particular limit and it should not be less than a particular limit so the next thing is compression so again control all go to fx now go to compression so in compression uh, use the threshold value as minus 15 and noise flow to 40 ratio to each to one is fine then attack time 0 0.20 seconds and release 0 point so this is fine now click ok Hello everyone, my name is Susram. Today we are going to talk about things you should know before joining up. So you can hear that the echo is going lower and lower. Now we are two more steps away to completely remove the echo. So now we will add the filters so that your audio will become much more clear and echo will be removed. So then again control all, go to FX. Then you can find called high pace and low pace filters. So we will use high pace filters. You can see the frequency is 10 and I remember that roll off value should be 6 decibels. So select high pace filters. 
then apply so now here the audio one more time So now you can see the audio have become a little bit crunchy. So the last thing is we will add equalizer effects. So equalizer is used after applying all these effects. So what equalizer is does is it will remove that sharpness and that crunchy sounds from your bass. So first select equalizer, then go to bass boost. In bass boost, select bass boost, then hit OK. Then after bass boost, again hit Control All, go to Effects, and select Equalizer. Now select Full Bass Boost. So hit OK. So now you can see our audio has become full crunch. So the final thing is, you, your audio is now separated from all the background noise and echo. So now you will normalize our audio. Select it, then go for normalize. Then remove DC offsets, remove peak offsets, minus 1.0 dB, right? Then hit OK. So now we have a clear audio with removed all the background noises and also the echo is removed. So here the audio for the last time. Hello everyone, my name is Sam. Today we are going to talk about things you should know before joining a BTEC career or any software career in your life so let's get started this is how you remove background noise and also echoes from your audio so i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any problem please comment on the video and also comment which video you want next